Welcome back. In the last video, we set up a finger painting application. We constructed the interface for it using the component designer, made up of a row of color buttons in a horizontal arrangement, a canvas where we were going to draw, and another horizontal arrangement with three buttons to wipe the screen clear, select a big brush, and select a small brush. Remember, of course, that these are just the components. They won't actually do anything unless we give them some program instructions. So I'm going to go into my blocks editor and we'll start to create the code that makes up our app. Remember we have App Inventor's built-in blocks as well as the components that make up my app. So looking at my algorithm, I can see that when a color button is clicked, I should set the canvas paint color to the appropriate color. So when button red is clicked, I go to canvas, set the canvas paint color, I'm going to go to built-in and colors and choose red. Let's do the same with our button green. But I'm going to take a shortcut here. I'm going to right click on the button green block and App Inventor warns me that I have two handlers for the same event when button green dot click happens. But I'm going to click on this menu here, select button blue and choose a blue color there. So we've already created our paint selection buttons. Looking at my algorithm again, it says when the canvas is touched, draw a circle at that location. So this is to do with the canvas. Well, I have three different kinds of touch events, but I think it's when the canvas is touched down, when the user initially places their finger on the canvas. And I want to draw a circle at that location. Now we need to specify where we're going to draw the circle, and it's going to be where the canvas was touched, the X and Y coordinates and we can get them from the X and Y in the event handler. So I just hover over X and drag out get X, do the same for Y, and then we're going to set the radius of the circle that gets drawn. So I'm going to choose a number from the math blocks and set that to 10. So when the canvas is touched, we're going to draw a circle at the X and Y location of where it was touched, and it's going to have a radius of 10 pixels, which is going to be filled, which is what that fill true property means. Moving on to the white button. When the white button is clicked, we're going to clear the canvas. So into canvas one, call canvas clear. When button big is clicked, we want to set the canvas line width to 15. Once again, using our shortcut, I'm going to right click on the button big handler, duplicate that set it to handle button small, and we'll set the line width to 5. Finally, when the canvas is dragged and the user drags across the screen to draw, we're going to draw a line. And we're going to draw a line from one coordinate to another. It's not going to be the start X and Y coordinates, we're going to choose the previous X coordinate and the previous Y to the current X coordinate and the current Y. So we're going to draw a line from where the user's finger was previously to where they dragged to its current position. And there we are. We've finished our code. All we have to do now is test our app. So I'm going to start up an emulator and try this out.